I was basically a software consultant and I was going into cloud in the sense of certifications. I was within, obviously, uh, July time, then uh, career break, and I was trying to get back into the field. And then, um, obviously, K21 gave me the materials, the help to get back into the field. The process was straightforward, but it was time consuming. And that's what people need to understand is it's not overnight. It's hard work. You have to give the dedication. Apply for the right jobs and tailor your experience. It's imperative that you leverage your experience and how you can transform it to what they want. The leverage you have is the WhatsApp groups, the 24-7 staff support, um, ticketing systems, materials, the expertise of the trainers. It's not just they're qualified in one subject area. I mean, most of the trainers, they have multiple certifications, right? And they are quite experienced in what they do. And they can help you clear the exam with the experience. Obviously, they've been doing this for years. The Q&As that you get with the trainers... Um, because some things are quite standard, whereas the questions that you come up with, you're really trying to expose your own expertise, right? But mm -hmm. you're also trying to understand how you can leverage certain concepts, and that's what the trainers can really help you with. The good thing is, right, you have pre-recorded sessions, you have live sessions, right? And if you look at some of the modules it starts from the very basic it, it tells you what is cloud so you can actually come in to k21 with no it experience right all you have to know is how to use a keyboard and mouse right and maybe connect to webex or log into a portal if you have that experience and you're willing to put the time and dedication in you will learn from the very basics of what cloud is and slowly how it transitions throughout. And only when you do each model and you understand each module, will you be able to get that hands-on experience. And that's what you, uh, or K21 is providing, is step-by-step -step guidance. Look, I have done over a hundred CVs, right? Tailoring, I mean, it's long, I know, I was sitting there, so one CV used to take me sometimes an hour, right? It's not like a five-minute job. You have to really look at the JD, see what they're asking for, tailor your experience to it, to what you have done, right? It's not about lying on your CV. It's about realistically showcasing how can you adapt your skills to what they want to showcase that. Now, it's... um. Difficult. I've had to go through three or four different CV formats, right? But mm. I think in the end of the day, one CV will not work for every person. So you have obviously different formats, different styles. I, I, I strongly believe that different countries have different CV stylings or what organizations look for. Now, you could be anywhere in the world, right? And you're finding it difficult. But unless you're right, you don't tailor the cv to match certain keywords i don't think your cv will even be viewed let alone selected um so it, it is critical i mean i think Atul and the rest of their team were right in the sense that you have to take it one step at a time right if you the first is affecting a base cv and then after that you need to start tailoring it for each job so once you have your base in place you start tailoring it for each job the second stage is Try and get recruiter feedback. See what they like because they're the experts in the field. Work on trying to get interview calls. Let's not worry about the rest of the process. Let's just work on trying to get that call back to say, we would like to interview you. When you can get to that stage, right, then you can start worrying about the more technical aspect and side of things. And a lot of people don't know is interviewing is not, right? You will only learn from your mistakes. So if it's not, you have one interview, you don't get it. You have two interviews, you don't get it. You just have some things to learn and you have to take those experiences and learn from those experiences, right?